Hey guys, last week in church, my son Titus, he went through the line at the luncheon and he got one meatball and five red peppers, a spoonful of applesauce, and then he got one brownie and one cookie. Phoebe right after him got the exact same thing. Abby right after her got almost exactly the same thing and Phoebe after her got almost the exact same thing. So why in the world am I talking about this? Because older kids set the tone for the younger kids and role models set the tone for other people that are following in their footsteps. So how does this apply to you? Well, if you're an experienced player and you're one of the better players at your club or at your academy, the way you act, the attitude that you have, the energy that you bring sets the tone for everybody in the whole place. If you're a beginner player, you also have to realize that role models are important. So make sure that you choose your role models correctly. This is not just who has the best forehand or who has the highest rating. It's also the professional way that they act. See, a lot of times people think improving in table tennis means just practicing more. But there's actually hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of elements that lead to your improvement, lead to you staying the same level, or potentially even lead to you getting worse this year. So if you're a beginner player, choose wisely on your role models who you're gonna copy. And if you are one of the more experienced players, then think deeply about how you train because others are watching and the environment that you create is actually you creating it because you're one of the role models for your table tennis club. I'm Samson Davina, thanks for watching. If you want more free videos, free articles, and other coaching advice, make sure you check out my website today, samsondavina.com. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.